Hi guys, this is Dr. Muhammad Uthman and today I am back with another video session on the Train the Trainer Mentor series. Uh, this will be the part 3 of the training series which will be skills of an effective trainer. Basically previously we have seen that how you should make the content for the training and what are the basics of the training. So this video will be telling you about some basics of the uh, skills those are required by the effective trainer. So as a trainer, as you know, you have to manage one to one people and one to many people. So you should have some skills and you should be confident and have to present yourself or present your concept in front of many people. Either it is online training or it is a classroom session training. So basically you should be working on different uh, skills and you should match up with the hybrid learning with the traditional learning. Also the role of a management trainer or, the, or a basic trainer is to uh, manage the change or change the model which is the basic uh, training model and embed its own or him on its own skills uh, in the training session which should be needed to give a proper training. So this training or this changing should be uh, related to the active learning that we have read before and we have studied before. So first of all we will talk about the felicitation and the communication skills. So as a trainer you should have the communication skills if you don't have the communication skill you should not be able to uh, do or deliver the concept or deliver the knowledge uh, from one person to another. So when you are in a training you have to transfer knowledge accurately and precisely from one person to another. So some of the important things which provide the effective communication and facilitation or as we say that the for the effective communication are using the various or certain interpersonal communication skills. Uh, to a large group or a small group of learning. If you are not sure about how you will de deliver the training on one to one or um, one to many people then you can just practice and rehearse on it. Uh, in the start it will be very difficult for you or it will be somehow complex for you to deliver training from one to one or one to many person. As the persons will increase you will be needing to facilitate or intercorporate your further skills for many other uh, uh, people. So you have to work on managing small groups or large group. Other than that you have to uh, analyze the group uh, activities or you have to analyze the workshop activities. You need to know how you should work with different people and how you maintain different uh, functions of the training and uh, and in the another important factor is giving and receiving appropriate feedback from different persons so when you are in the training you will be giving the training and you have to uh, receive the feedback and that feedback will help you to improve your training so in every training session as i tell you uh, you should go for the feedback and you should ask your candidates about how you felt during this training session what was good and what was bad so basically i do ask in all my trainings at the end that uh, you should comment and tell me that what I have done and what I have done correct or what I have done bad and what is the feedback. So basically communication skills will be the first of the important part for our trainer. The next part in the communication skills is the interpersonal communication skills. So basically if you are talking or giving training to any other person and if you have a concept of the knowledge then you cannot just pinpoint the knowledge and you just cannot read out the knowledge as we have seen before. We have to paraphrase, we have to sometimes summarize, we have to ask different questions from different people and we have to extend and with the normal non-verbal cues like with my hands, with my uh, body language, with my face and with my tone and by walking on the training session I can have the non-verbal cues. So basically when we are nodding with the trainer and we are the trainer is looking at us then uh, we can understand by nodding to that trainer that we are understanding that concept. So basically every trainer will be needing that how you will uh, react with the training session. So as a trainer you should be knowing that every candidate is understanding the concept or not. So if you have any concept you can just paraphrase it in your own language which is easy to, easy to you. If you are not easy to give training in a particular language you should avoid that. You should uh, go on to your native language or you should work on your native language to improve your uh, further skills in the another language. So you have to work on time to time from all of these things and uh, talking about when you have developed the interpersonal skills you have to manage also the group process activity skills basically uh, other than your communication skill and speaking to those people you should be knowing that how you have to maintain the group functions or group skills by you have to talk with different people you have to note your timing you have to listen to those people sometimes you have to mediate those people you have to encourage you have to relieve tension so if you are a trainer or or an employee in any organization you need to work on group skills team skills as well as your interpersonal skills so as a trainer you will be going into many different skills and you have to improve them during your training sessions. 
so when we talk about group training skills we also work on group task functions uh, how you have to focus and how you have to seek the useful information also when you are talking with other person then you have to reach a task agreement or a goal agreement you have to give some useful information you have to uh, take some useful information you have to know that what is the useful information basically so moving, uh, when you have got all these uh, skills or when you have got the information how you will move toward your action so basically when you are in live in a training then it is difficult for you to analyze at the same time then give a prompt reply so you should have a cover up your knowledge and you should be knowing how to handle that group or team so if the group is large you have to focus on every different person so and the, if the group is small then you have to just focus on uh, separate small skills of those person so working on the skills you have to work on all the group task functions and you should be knowing that how you have to manage that group also when you are talking with a group you you have you will have some of the uh, group task role or uh, team roles like uh, you can be the initiator who sta- who talks so basically in a trainer or as a trainer in a training session you you should be an initiator you have to start talking you have to tell about yourself you have to give introduction then you have to g- seek the opinion from different person then you also have to give opinion also you have to clarify some points sometime uh, the candidates or user will give you a wrong uh, answer so you have to clarify or you have to clear them and sometime it is confusion with the people so you also have to clarify those to your candidates or your group which you are giving the training then you also have to work as a coordinator or a inventor so if you are working in a group or a trainer you you might have different task from short time to long time and you have to work on all the time shifting from one role to each other so if you should be comfortable enough to shift from one role to another during your training session also when you are working with your teams you have to work as a supporter you have a work as a harmonizer you have a work as a tension reliever and you have to encourage the ask for approach basically you will encourage them to ask you ask your question you have to uh, encourage them to Uh, talk with you about the course session you have to encourage them about uh, what they are feeling during that training session so you have to work on making them relaxed and you have to also make them engaged during the training session they should not be so much relaxed that they are sleeping in that training session so basically it is up to you how you build up the group binding roles or you group uh, the uh, building roles and uh, when if you don't have these skills of the group or interpersonal skill then you will be uh, going to toward the self centered roles uh, you will be a broker you will be aggressor like you will be aggressive if someone asks the question you will be a recognition seeker only you will be wanting that people listen to you and people tell you that you are correct uh, blah 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 like that so this should not be thing and you should not be a clown like a joker during your training session you should maintain a balance between uh, a joke and and your lecture so basically you should not become a total of a clown and you should not also dominate your team members or your group which you are giving your training session so as a trainer it is not easy for you to manage and work on all these things so you should work on your interpersonal skills along with your different roles and how you will mediate that group so this training was up to here now and uh, if you like my training do visit my youtube channel and you can uh, just comment over there and give me feedback and if you want any concept to be taught in english or urdu i will be happy to make it for you and you can get training session or training certificate for any video from our channel the process is as follows and there is another video given on our training channel uh, for all these training details so what you are waiting for go today to my training video channel and like